What's up, everybody? This your man, Chris Thorns. As always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever um, you're looking at this video or looking at my content, period. Hey, check this out. I just got out of work doing pretty much 16 hours, and I should be laying down now. But I literally seen a video on my way home that I just couldn't resist talking about it. And now that I got home, I'd have found the video again. And uh, this shit is crazy, people. And the name of the video is uh, something about a beastie got caught stealing from Dollar Tree. Really? Dollar Tree? Out of all places, Dollar Tree is literally the only dollar store where you literally buy everything from a dollar. And you stealing from there? Wow. But without further ado, let's take a look, people. Let's take a look. All right. Oh, 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 oh. This finna go bad already. I see now this finna go bad already. <laughs> the chick in the purple, y'all see she's a big chick. Uh I want y'all to see what happened once she started trying to open the door. <laughs> Y'all see that? All these folks right here is scattered the fuck out when she trying to uh, open the door. <laughs> Y'all can't make this shit up, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did y'all see that? Y'all see that? What the dude from Credible Hook said? Don't make me mad. Because you won't like me when I get mad. And when he get mad, what he do? And that's what she did right here. She just turned into the Credible Hulk. Now check this out. Hulk smash! Hulk smash! Hulk smash! <laughs> Wait a minute. Now, who this little nigga right here? He run uh, to the window and looked like they was he was pointing at her. So I don't know what's the cops outside or whatever the case may be. I don't know. But boy, you better step the fuck back. You know what I'm saying? Like dude, like Red Fox said in uh, Hollow Nights. You fucking with a heavyweight. You better step the fuck back. <laughs> Damn. Watch it. Watch it. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Hold up. Can we see it again? Can we see that again, man? Get out of here. Boom. <laughs> now everybody want to come back in the screen. <laughs> and that big motherfucker gone. Holy shit. Holy shit, man, get out of here. And that little boy right there, he just so confused. And y'all see that? Somebody literally trying for to come back, come to the store after seeing that. I know they, they, they had to see this. They just, they had to see this person right here. They had to see this because this just happened. They had to see this. <laughs> Oh, man. You can't make this shit up, people. Oh, man. You you, you can't make this shit up, man. Uh, all bullshit aside, let me get serious. Let me get serious about this. This is a shame. That indeed it is. This is a shame. Don't get me wrong, people. I mean, I know a lot of us we get in a pickle. You know what I'm saying? We uh we do get broke. And a lot of us do try to save our last two dollar or whatever the case may be. And in some cases, you know, I give people a pass, but this one I just can't. And here's here's the reason why. Like I said, dollar 
Tree is the only store that I know of that literally everything in this store is a dollar. No ifs, ands, buts about it. Literally everything in this store is a dollar. You even got some items that's even 50 cents. So let me get this straight. So you know you broke, but you're going to go to a store like that and steal out of it. Shouldn't nobody steal shit out of Dollar Tree because it should be easy to purchase anything. So, you mean to tell me you can't get nobody to loan you a dollar into to go get some out of Dollar Tree? You literally had to go in there and steal something? Look, let me tell y'all something. The way I grew up in life, I was taught that change add up. When you save your change, that shit adds up. This is a fact. Pennies, nickels, dimes, all that shit adds up. You know what I'm saying? I keep a change bucket. So if I'm broke and then go to a store like Dollar Tree, you best believe I could pull out four quarters and go to the Dollar Tree and buy something. There's no point in going to the Dollar Tree still in the goddamn thing. I'm sorry. It, it just not. It's crazy as hell. That's the craziest shit that I'd have ever seen. And um, the other employees there, hey, I would have bad back too. I would have bad the fuck back too because uh now like I said y'all saw she turned into the Incredible Hulk. Anybody who would have stepped close to her, man, y'all would have got fucked up. So y'all did the right thing. <laughs> y'all did the fucking right thing because I would have stepped back too. As a matter of fact, I might would have unlocked that door. Cause think about it, y'all locked that door and y'all see how strong she was and she almost bust that motherfucking open. She bust it open, but you know like they say, uh, like a wise man told me. If a thief want to get in and they want to get it, they're going to get it by all means necessary. And this is a fact, and they won't just prove it. They're going to get it by all means necessary, even if it's to do what she just did. Real talk. Now, I said something about this before I got home on Facebook, and uh, my girl Patricia, she said, uh, you know, white people do it too. I never said just black people do it, but she said white people do it too. And her comment was that uh, there were these two white girls. Um, they went into a Dollar Tree store or a dollar store period and stole some shit. Now, here's the stupid part on it. You go to the dollar store and you steal out of the dollar store, but then turn around and go into the 99 cent store. Okay. You go into the 99 cent store. Then you come back out, you know what I'm saying? The police got your car blocked. <laughs> they got your car blocked. So she said uh, they was crying. She was laughing. I probably would have been laughing my motherfucking ass out too. Because come on, man. Dollar Tree. I'm just shocked. Dollar Tree. And you got them little kids up there. And I thought one of them was actually with her. But I guess he wasn't. You know, which is a good thing because... Uh, that's just something awful to sit up there and teach your little son, little daughter how to go into a place like that and steal. Like I said, I would have gave you a pass if you probably even did it to Family Dollar. I would have gave you a pass even if you would have did it at um, Dollar General because everything in there is not a dollar. I would have gave you a little pass, I mean, but it would only be a small one because, uh, you know, stealing is fucked up in the first place, you know. Because those are cheap places to go shop at. But I can't give her a pass for this. Man, a Dollar Tree, everything is a dollar. Or even 50 cents at the least. Man, you got to get the fuck up out of here. I can't believe that we that damn broke. That we got to go into Dollar Tree and steal shit. It's a fucking shame, man. Baby girl, I don't know if you got caught or not. Maybe you need to start taking notes and uh, start saving your change. Real talk. S start saving your change. Get you a little change bucket. Like a lot of people do, and start throwing your spare change in there. That way, you won't have to go to the Dollar Tree and steal shit from out of out of Dollar Tree for a dollar. This is insane. You better it is. This is insane. But uh, anyway, <laughs> this your man Chris Thorne, man. Like, come in, subscribe, do what you do, man. But this is just too funny, just too hilarious, man. And it's a damn shame. It's a fucking shame, people. I'm out.